Hello, I've got something different for you all today. So I went to the art house in Wakefield today for um, a workshop on eco printing with leaves and different mordants and modifiers. Um, and these are my results. It's the first time I've ever had to go and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So I'm not sure the true colours will come through. These are uh, quite natural looking colours. So we used various different mordants on the back to, to, put, to create a background. We used things like logwood, turmeric, and beetroot juice and a couple of other things which as I remember I'll put the names up um, then we put the leaves on and then we rolled them up that was really tight and then they were steamed for about half an hour so this was the first one I really like the the leaf bits on this and this is a Fabriano watercolour paper so some leaves came out really clearly. Like this one, I love this, these two here. They're just lovely. And some didn't come out very well at all. Um, and then this is the back of it. And this is the marks from the elastic band that was holding it all together to stop it from unraveling. And this really dark is, it's kind of like a pur purpley blue color. And that was the logwood. It's lovely, lovely texture. Um, and then this one was oops, still got bits of leaf on it. It's surprising that these are still quite damp and I did them. Well, it's about eight o'clock at night now and I did them much earlier today. Um, got a nice clear leaf there. And this one. These are lovely. And I love these two. And then this on the other side. So it's surprising how much the colour has, has gone through. So that's that one. And then we had a go at sandwiching some together. And these are the results. I need to get these the right way because they kind of partnered up with each other. Let me show you them all first. There's a nice little flower there. So this one I had three leaves on and then a flower thing. I love this. Look at the colours in there. That was the one that was on the end. So I think this one just, I just had four pieces in this one. So those two were sandwiched together. So that's what they look like. And then these two were sandwiched together. And that's what they look like. And then I think that was the back. This one, I think, must have been on the back of this one. Yes, so those two were back to back as well. So I could actually make this into like a book with those two. And then those two being opposite each other. And then those two being opposite each other. It's got the pink in here. Beautiful. And that was the very back. So that was that one. And then this one, there were six of them. I think this was a red onion skin. In fact, it looks a little bit like a seahorse, actually. I'll just show you all the sides and then lay them out. 
I should have made notes. Look at that, isn't that lovely? This one was um, a buddleia, a purple buddleia. And look at how yellow it all came out. And that was the logwood again around there. And a lovely little delicate leaf in the middle there. And this is the one that was partnered with it. Move this again. And then this was the other side. So they were sandwiched, they were sandwiched, so I think that was the outside. They were sandwiched. And I had um like a flower thing there, another one down here. I think this was, um, I've forgotten the name of that one. I'll put it up here if I remember. And uh, this is a lovely little thing there. So yeah, I think those two, yeah, those two go together. And then these two go together. Look at this, oh, there's a bit of leaf on there. This is quite yellowy. Uh, and then that's the outside so those two go together little bits still falling off of it <laughs> and then um i have a feeling this might have actually been one of my first ones as well so this was just with the that was the logwood painted on like water it down it's it comes in little, little bits like that you add water and then you get the purpley color come out there was some beetroot juice in here and goodness knows what else but look at the texture on those leaves so they're all rather lovely and then that's the back because when you roll it up on itself you get the imprint on the back as well. Look at this. But I, I really enjoyed the unpredictability of it. So that was that one. And then there was this one. This leaf, it, it's printed. There's the imprint of the veins and everything on the paper but the colours are not very clear and whereas this one has got the colour as well and this one here just beautiful it's more of the logwood and that's the back of it and then this one is still very damp actually So this one is like a concertina book. I'll zoom in a bit for you. So that was the front. And then the way I did it, I put something in between each layer. And then I went through and put other things on the back. But these two are just beautiful. And this is the back of the leaf and this is the front of the leaf. And, and we learnt that the front of the leaf, because it's more kind of resistant to the colour, you don't get such a, a good print. But these just, the detail in these are just gorgeous. Again, this would be the back of the leaf and this would be the front. And the colour will still develop on this because this still feels quite damp. And then this was that flower again, whose name, it's the one where the, you get pink and blue and lilac, depending on the acidity of the soil. Can't remember the name of it, but it was just lovely. And this was the best result that I had for that um, particular plant. I can't remember what that, oh, that was onion skin there, I think. It does look a bit like it had a stem. And then that was the back cover that didn't have anything on it. And then... 
in between these ones I put leaves as well. These two are just lovely. And this is onion skin. I think that gives it red onion skin, I should say. That gives the best kind of colour. And just look at the texture. Beautiful. And this was just one big fern that I put down. I, I don't know quite why I didn't get such good colour with that one. But I thought this would look nice with a hard cover on either end and then just being able to open it out. And obviously I could draw on it or paint on it or something, or I might even. Oh no, because I'd want to see that side. Anyway, there is the results. Let's zoom out a bit more and put some more of this in. Of a very fun session of eco printing at the art house in Wakefield. Let me know in the comments if you've done any eco printing. And, uh, this is definitely something that I will have another go at. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little quick look at these. Thanks for watching. Bye.